Good morning, everyone. I just got ready for the day, so I'm just wearing this gray sweater. I put on a little bow, this Louis Vuitton little bow that I made out of like the wrapping that I got from this wallet that I bought. My voice sounds hideous, so that's fun. I, uh, when I woke up this morning, I finished those pictures, so I finished them all. I sent them to the parents, the two-year-olds. I'll make sure to show you guys some a few little later once I go to my computer. Yeah, they love them. I didn't send them all of them. It's just I know her birthday is tomorrow, and I'm not going to like personally see them till Saturday, which is a little girl's birthday party. Yeah, like maybe Saturday. I'm going to take pictures of her Saturday, too, so I'm really excited. Uh, I'm so exhausted. Are you guys ready to die of cuteness? How cute is this mug? It has like its little sweater. So freaking cute. Now I'm just gonna get some creamer, guys. Wait, we were just I'm gonna keep my eye on you guys in the fridge now. That's right, you guys are stuck in the refrigerator now. Wait, what the heck? How'd you guys get here now? So I don't have to carry you guys around anymore. You guys just end up everywhere I am. Okay, sounds reasonable enough. I'm gonna shock my pretties. This is a Charlotte Tilbury box, but it just has like a bunch of brand new makeup that I like played with, so I can't give away. So I just put it in this box. And like if people come over and things like that, they um will come and take. So like most of them are all these concealers from ColourPop. So I just really want to try like a cool new eye look. That's why I was hoping I would get like new makeup today to play with because today I'm like I'm here and I want to play. So I don't know. I think I'd never done this before, which I saw a meme that was like, people who leave eyeshadow for last are serial killers. And I was like, guess I'm a serial killer. Like, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> like, I always do my eyeshadow last, but I want to try something different. So I was like, let's do eyeshadow first. What's on it is to ride and sing. So then when people get to this point, like, do you do your eyebrows first? Or do you do your foundation and everything now? Because I feel like I look very weird without the rest of my face done and my eyes done first. I don't know how people do this, so. Okay, I don't really like this because I feel like I'm going to mess up my eye look doing this. So I think the real serial killers are you guys who do your eyeshadow first because there's no way. <laughs> so confused on what to do. We are ready to go. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm really saying I'm ready to go when I'm literally gonna stay inside. Do I look weird with that eyeshadow under my eyes? I just did it. I didn't care for it anymore. I'm like, I'm not gonna just like do eyeshadow again at the very end. But here's my makeup for the day. I do not wear foundation. It's not for like some reason they don't wear it. I just feel like foundation makes me break out more. And I'm, I, mean, I don't know what you guys think. I feel like my bronzer, my blush, and all that stick like, perfectly fine on my skin. These are my top three favorite, well, four, but. Technically, I mix these two together. These two Laura Mercier ones, I mix them because I like the combination of both of these together. And I love the Magic Tint from Avon. And then, obviously, the Pretty Fresh from ColourPop has been, like, my top favorite right now. So, those are the tinted moisturizers that I use. Foundation-wise, I have not used a foundation for a long time. I own a lot of foundations. And I told myself I cannot buy any more until I go through these, which will probably never happen. But, obviously, if I get sent... Obviously, if I get something sent, of course, I'll try it out. But, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about foundations. I'm just, like, trying to stay away from my skin. has been really happy without me, you know. Trying to murder it with that. Okay, so there's some footage that I didn't add to my... I'm going to put your down because I need to talk. I need to rant. So, um, <laughs> I'm so mad. I should have added that in. But I didn't want to sound, you know, rude or anything like that. But I'm so annoyed right now. So, I... Two days ago, so not yesterday's vlog, but the day before that, I was explaining how I was going to have this photo shoot, the one that I had yesterday. And I was like, I hate that when I, like, post pictures of, like, my work and things like that, people come out of the woodworks and think I'm going to give them, like, free photo shoots and I'm not that girl. I was really annoyed and I was, like, kind of ranting about how people would just, you know, try to just, like, get things for free. And it's like, obviously, I know my worth. I'm not cheap. 
I'm not gonna accept like 10 bucks to take pictures of you. You know what I mean? Like I'm I know my worth. I know my job is so like I know I'm good at what I do. I know I'm good at what I do. I love kids, so I know that I'm good at photography and kids. Photography and <laughs> they're like, girl, we ain't even paid you a dollar because you can't even say it. But I'm good at photographing kids because I love them, you know, and like I can bond with them with other things and then snap my pictures with them too, you know? Like obviously photographers out there who take pictures of kids, I'm sure you know your tactics to get a kid to smile. Even if you have to go through a billion pictures to get that one shot, you know? So, I know I'm good at what I do. I don't like when people like to take advantage of what I do. I was, like, saying how I'm going to take a picture of my friend's kid. And I was so excited, you know, because I've, like, babysat for her. I've watched her. And, you know, I've seen her grow up. She knows me. I have, like, this connection with her. So, obviously, it's not like a stranger taking pictures of you. But either way, I've taken pictures of strangers' kids. I mean, that sounds kind of creepy. But, like... You know, kids I don't know, and they've done a good job. They're not all on, like, my photography page as well, because, you know, sometimes if I, like, NDAs, things like that, that people don't want the pictures released. I'm genuinely proud of what I do because it's what I love doing. So I know my pictures turn out good. Like, I know I do a good job. Like, I don't need nobody to come, like, you do a good job, or, like, if you ever need anybody to practice on, call me. It's like, no, you just want free pictures, and I'm not that girl. You know, if I don't reply to you and I'm not interested, it's because you want a free shoot. It's like, this is my job, you know what I mean? Like... I don't go to your guys' work and, like, expect you to give me, you know, the new iPhone or whoever you work, you know, like, um, a brand new car from the dealership that you work at. Like, I don't do that. I have this certain person that every time that I upload pictures, and I knew this was going to happen, the second I uploaded this picture, she was going to come out the woodworks and just be like, so when are my photo shoot with my family? Like, when are you going to do the photo shoot for me? Like, da da da. And it's like, when are you going to pay up? Like, I'm so sick of people trying to take advantage of somebody's worth and like their time and efforts like okay you have your nine to five congratulations this is my job and this is how i make my income so if you're not willing to pay my prices go somewhere else basically i gave this one person who's like she's not my cousin but she's like kind of like my cousin i mean she's not though like we're not blood relative but like yeah sure she saw me grow up i don't I was never close to her. She's always asked me to take pictures and, like, just kind of always been interested. And there's, like, some other family members who have been interested. But I know that once they hear my prices, they're like, girl, bye. Like, the point is I wanted to give you, like, a wink and you were going to do it for free. Like, I, I told this girl my prices and she wasn't happy with it, you know? And it's like, yeah, I'm going to charge a couple hundred bucks. Like, there's people who charge over a thousand, so if, like, my range is in the hundreds and it's a lot for you, then go somewhere else. So, I said that in the vlog and I was like, nah, I'm not even going to add any of that in because, well, maybe right now I sound a little more angry because it's happened. And I was like, I'm not even going to add that in because it's just dumb to add that in and then, like, I'm doing too much for no reason. But then, of course, I manifested it and people just always want free photo shoot when they see how good of a job I do. I want to show you guys one of the pictures because I did say I was going to show you guys them. Oh, look at how freaking cute that is. Oh my god, I cannot deal. She is the cutest little thing ever. Sorry if that sounds harsh, especially when it's people that I have no relationship with or communication with. Like, there's somebody who I literally think I've never spoken to in my entire life, and they were like, so how much do you charge your photos? And then I told them my price, and I was like, what do you, like, I'm obviously, like, it's not like I have one solid price. Like, I obviously go into detail with you, and I'm like, how many people are going to be in the pictures? What kind of photos are you looking for? Location, not location, my house, your house, like, what's the plan? And then I tell them my prices, and they're not so happy with it. <laughs> Imagine if I charge for photography as much as I charge for, like, brand deals. <laughs> people would be terrified. <laughs> yeah, I love photography, but not enough for people to take advantage of me. So, yes, I know I'm good at what I do. I don't need models. Because somebody's like, well, like, you can use me to, like, model on me for. And I'm like, but, yeah, I love photography. So, you guys should definitely check out my Instagram for my photography page. It's Andrea L. Reyes Photography. I have it linked below. I don't know. People love to take advantage of you and it just, like, sucks. So, it's like... I knew the second I posted these pictures, like, I just, I knew what I called. I knew the second I was going to post these pictures, people were going to come out the woodworks and expect me to do things for free for them. So, if I, like, didn't respond to your text or I left you on scene, because then I hate when people who have my phone number reach on me through Instagram. It's like, you just want to see if I've opened your message or not. <laughs> like, if you have my phone number, text me. Do not DM me on Instagram. Like, I hate when people do that, because it's like, they're clearly just DMing you on Instagram to see if you've read it or not don't want this isn't really for like you guys watching vlogmas it's more for like my family members and just people who know me in real life that are probably watching this because they were like the title will always try to take advantage of you and it's just funny because like even like with me like getting pr and things like that now people are always trying to just like be my friend because i get free things and it's like no i'm gonna give free things to the people who like hung around me when i was such like a little square and loser and like 
had like no friends. Like those are the people I'm gonna hit and have no friends, so I'm just gonna keep everything for myself. <laughs> no, but like I literally give things to so many people, but I'm not out here like on camera I'm, like giving this huge this is a PR package, but giving this whole PR package to my best friend, Samantha. I don't even know Samantha. <laughs> You know, like, I'm also not going to do that. But, like, you could, I mean, like, technically you could ask people that I'm close to. I've given everybody PR. I'm always trying to give people things. But I'm also not going to give, um, you know, Sally, who was super rude to me. And, like, wasn't a real friend to me. Makeup because she's like, you're doing so great on social media. <laughs> this just went into, like, this whole rant. And all that spilling tea, I completely forgot about my ramen. I'm going to give it another minute. My leftover ramen. And we are going to go watch novellas in the living room because I don't want to sit on the living room table. The other, I don't want to sit on the dining room table. I literally said living room table. I don't want to sit on the dining room table. If you lived alone, what would be one thing you would get rid of? Dining room table. And I'd put like a pool table there or like that ski hockey thing that I saw at Costco and I said, I, we're listening to Casas at all. My dad just called me and he's like, so what are you making for dinner? And I'm like, sir, I wasn't even home. What do you even mean? Usually I go to grocery stores on Tuesday. Usually I take night or shower on Tuesday. So you're taking a shower today. It's been raining, so he doesn't even like to go outside. And I'm pretty sure somebody took him out before they went to work. But yeah, um, he said he's gonna pick up tacos from the taco truck in Oakland, and I'm like, yes. So goes, I already know if you guys are from the Bay Area, you already know the best taco truck is in Oakland. This soup right here, this this ramen feels so good right now. I'm much needed for this weather. I'm gonna catch up on some novelas though, and. I'll talk to you guys a little later. I just want to let you guys know that's what dinner is going to be. And I'm finishing up my ramen. <laughs> I'm so weird. Help me. This is why I have no boyfriend or friends. They're like, instead of going out, I'm over here trying to make thumbnails. <laughs> I would show you guys this because I'm literally making a thumbnail right now for my um, photography page. Do you want to play with your toy? Can I have your toy? I feel like an alcoholic being obsessed with apple juice. I bought this for hot cider and I've only made hot cider once. Besides that, I've been drinking like good old vodka. Apple juice is my addiction. You know, as a kid, what was like your go-to drink? Mine was definitely apple juice because we weren't allowed to have like sugary drinks as a kid. Like in El Salvador, I hated going there in the summers. So all I would drink was apple juice and their apple juice is literally like apples, like from con like from concentrate and you're like, ugh. Or like when my mom would shop all the time at Trader Joe's, I hated that apple juice. Watching Guerito on live and I got my tacos. I got my pastor tacos. I am going to eat this. I want to share with you guys. It is called a picnic cookie. They are from El Salvador. They're from the Macadiana. And I have been obsessed with these cookies since I was little, since they were like in the clear packaging. I'm going to talk in Spanish for a second. So if you guys don't speak Spanish, just like, you know, listen, I don't know. Enjoy. Quiero darle un shout out a la tía Vilma. Mi mamá me contó que ves mis videos. So solo te quería saludar, decirte hola. Muchas gracias por ver mis videos. I just wanted to give her a shout out. She's one of my aunts from El Salvador and I just thought that was so sweet. My mom told me she watches my videos, so. You come up. Look. <laughs> <laughs>